Hello. Today I wanted to teach you guys how to find affiliate products to review, where you're going to find them, and selecting the ones that you should spend your time reviewing. Um, there are some products that just don't have a high demand and you don't want to spend a lot of time writing a review for a product that may not be that interesting. So, next slide. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is search for your uh, programs for your niche. So let's say, let's say you have a niche of wigs. So you go wigs and then plus affiliate program. Um, and it comes up with full lace RPG show. I don't, I don't know what they are. Oh. And they have a referral program. But you could also, if you were on their page, if you love this RPG show, you could go down to the bottom and see here, oh, there's their affiliate program. And you'd click on that, and then you'd sign up. Join, share. Um, I'll show you my I do use Paul Young's wigs. They've actually rejected me as an affiliate. Uh, I don't have a big enough following, although I do wear their wigs. <laughs> so you go down here and you find um, hmm, I don't see it. That's okay. That's okay. They're with Commission Junction. Um, and I just didn't have a large enough following, but back to this, when searching for products, scroll to the bottom of the page and look for a link for affiliates. Um, there are some programs you should sign up for Amazon, lots, lots and lots of products to be reviewing for your niche on Amazon. Clickbank. I love Clickbank. It's my favorite. Um, but you know, everybody's a little bit different. JVZoo is going to be um, affiliate marketing products, kind of online stuff. Um, it's the online make money kind of business thing. Share a sale is another one you can sign up for. Commission Junction has a lot of um, physical products um, like the wigs and there are a bunch of other different ones through Commission Junction. I've been approved for some, so you apply to Commission Junction and then you apply to the different um, types of sellers. And then Rak Rakuten Affiliate Network. I'm gonna focus on these top two here, of Amazon and ClickBank because they're my favorites and they're the ones that I've actually made some money with. ClickBank. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to start searching the keywords in your niche. You'll check out the products offered, and then you want to examine the gravity. You want to know how popular it is and whether it's selling, and gravity tells you that. A good guideline is a gravity of about 70 to 120. If it's below 70, it's going to be hard to make sales and if it's more than like 120, it might be pretty competitive. You might be uh, competing with a lot of advanced markers, and that's fine. Um, but if you're just starting out, you know, 80, 90, that's, that's where you're going to find products that will actually sell. Amazon. Love Amazon. Amazon's a great place to start. And if you're just beginning with affiliate marketing, just review the products you recently purchased from Amazon that are in your niche. Um, review the products you've used, whether you like them or not, and be honest about it, you know? People are looking for honest reviews. And then, as you get better, you're gonna wanna review the best sellers in your niche. And you can do this whether you purchase the product or not. You can rely on the reviews um, 
all you have to do is just be honest and state reviewers have complained about this or reviewers have stated that this is what's great about the product. Um, and then the other thing you might want to do is look for products that are in the news. Is there the latest toy that's just going crazy? Review that product. Um, it's likely you'll get some good traffic from it because it's been in the news. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to do that on Amazon. So you go to Amazon and you look for your niche. Let's say you are in um, beauty and health. Let's say you're into sports nutrition. You're telling all those sports people what they should do. Okay, so you go to the page, sports nutrition, and they give you different categories and you scroll down and here you go, best sellers. Now, here's what I want you to pay attention to. You're gonna pay attention to the number of reviews that they have. This whey protein, gold standard whey, has 9,000 reviews. That's substantial. That means people are buying it and they're reviewing it so you can get a good idea of whether they like it or not. And um, if you can find a keyword and rank for it, you're gonna be able to make some money off of that one. Um, now, if you go down, see this cliff bar, it only has 690 reviews, but it's in the best seller. So people may still be wanting to read reviews on it. Um, and as you see, oh, 5,000 for Lara bars. Do you like the Lara bar? Do you hate it? Let people know. If it's in your niche, it fits. That'd be a good product to review with 5,000 reviews. You'd get a good idea after reading the reviews of what's good and bad about the product. And you could write it up. Um, yeah, so you can do that with any niche. Um, this is interesting, the most wished for and most gifted, but you're gonna want you're gonna want to focus in on the best sellers. That's that's what I personally have the best experience with. And that's what you should look for. So that was my quick presentation of how to find affiliate products that you should review on your website. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe below.